What is up? Back for another Ultima Online episode today. I am going to showcase the mythic character token that you get from the Ultima Online store. Um, I think it's 2,500 points. It's a little excessive, um, but for what it is, it's pretty decent. I've got myself a clean slate here, so I've removed everything that it key started off with, which is really easy to do. If you've got yourself a soul stone, you can add the uh, skills to a soul stone and then just remove them from the soul stone, pretty much killing them. Especially if you start a new turn and it's all basics of like 30s or whatnot. But um, yeah, so I am going to just sort of mess around a little bit. Um, I had an idea for a build that I may be trying. I won't mention too much, but um, you, you, you might be able to guess a little bit of it when I um, when I put it together as it is. So yeah, pretty much. So when you start, it's going to ask you. You click it, click OK to redeem the following. The moment you redeem it, it's going to come up with a little menu at the top here. Um, as soon if, if you click that off, it'll stop it and it'll turn it off again, and then it's you're able. Uh, well, uh, uh, eligible to keep it or sell it and they do sell for quite a lot especially on Atlantic um, I think they sell for roughly 85 to 90 mil um, excessive but not at the same time I think if you add that up um, if you what you're paying for on the store um, it's sort of roughly the same I think but either way get your hands on one you know if you feel you want to um, yeah, they're, they're, they're worth it, I think. And, you know, it's some people may call it lazy. Some people may say that they're helpful. I find them quite helpful. So once we click, actually, I'll just show you again. So, yeah, obviously it comes up with this menu. There's a little blue button. We'll click the blue button and bang. It gives you, you're able to choose pretty much nearly every skill it gives you a, a total of five skills up to which gives you 90 on each skill so that's pretty decent like that's pretty much 10 percent before uh gm the only thing you can't have obviously because i'm a human um i'm not a gargoyle so i can't have throwing and i suggest if you're going to use one of these and you want to be a spell weaver you will need to go and do the spell weaving quest first um it's the spell weaving quest can be pretty hectic for new players so probably take someone with you or get someone to help you. If you're in a guild, it's even easier. Um, I do know it is. It's just killing certain things, and the mobs are kind of strong. So I would keep that in mind. Um, but, yeah, so for all you people, like I know a lot of people, when you start, you're interested in animal taming, which is really cool. Um, it's a really, really sweet skill. And I, I do believe that... Um, this helps so much, so, so much when it comes to animal taming. I know people struggle for that first, you know, 70 or 80, um, especially even, even like at the farm, it, it's, it's, it's hard. So for, for this tune, I am going to take animal taming. I'm going to take, so animal law, animal taming, and I'm going to take veterinary as well so I can heal my animals up. Um, I'll, I'll get to the stats as well in a moment. So what am I thinking to, um, let me see. See, I, I like to have a backup as well too. Um, it really depends what kind of class I'm going to play, but I, I do like to have a backup in my soul stone of certain skills. So even if I am building things and there's skills that I don't need, I grab important ones like maybe Chiv or even just Majory because they are good to have as a backup in your soul stones in case you decide later to make a mage or you just want to be able to get around to. And 90 Majory is really good. Um, it allows you to use teleport and it allows you to use gate pretty much. And it is easy to level from 90 to 100 as well when it comes to your skill set. So you will you know, get GM pretty easily. But um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think, I, what was my plan here? Um, resisting spells is probably not worth it because you can level up resisting spells pretty easily. Um, I probably should make a video on that, to be honest, to show the newer players how to do that. Um, especially, there's a certain spot where you can go and you can stand, and it is really, really simple. It takes about an hour or so to get to GM. 
but it's 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 worth it, and it's 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 easier than wasting obviously a skill set on this as well. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's all broken up into different categories. Obviously, combat, magic, bard, wilderness, um, as well as the trade skills, miscellaneous, and thievery too. So yeah, it does help knowing that they're all together, and then you can sort of choose from them. Some of the older skills are really fun. Like this is, um, you know, obviously with animal, I'm sorry, arms law, begging, camping, they're all a bit of a waste. Arms law actually is pretty decent, but yeah, camping, you know, forensics, item identification, taste identification. But at the same time, they do give really cool little titles that you don't really see on people, or if they do have them, they don't really wear them. Um, so if you were, you know, I guess. You could buy a title from this, I guess. But, um, yeah. So, I may take Majory. And I think I will take... Um, actually... Yeah, I'll take Majory. And I think I'll take Chiv as well, too. Um, it, it, okay, so once I've chosen five, it then tells me to... It will, the yellow writing is going to come up here saying your dex uh, strength, dexterity, intelligence values do not add up to the value indicated to the upper left corner, which the value is 225. Um, so you can then give all your stats as well too. Um, I, I, it, it's obviously, you, I can't click next or finish up until you've done this as well. You must equal 225 before you finish it. So it's obviously telling me to hit the edit button. Um, and then we will go from there. So... You can see as well that if I click off them, it takes me back to the menu as well. So say I grab the wrong ones, I'm thinking, oh, should I have made a mistake? I just click the little X's. It takes me back to what I can choose pretty much too. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cool that they have these as well. Um, I know existing players that have leveled up a lot of tones and a lot of skill sets, you know, you sort of get over it after a while. You want to sort of, you know, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing with the skills. You sort of want to just throw them all together really quickly. Um, and then, yeah, go from there pretty much. Um, but, yeah, thinking, 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 thinking. I am thinking, yeah, well, it was Chiv and Majory. Chiv and Majory is just because Chivory you are able to use to heal yourself with, obviously, your teething points, um, which is just made from gold. Um, and Majory as well, obviously, for healing and for teleporting and getting around too, especially when it comes to, like, taming. Mage tamers are pretty basic. But yeah, so yeah, I'll definitely get Majory and Chiv and put them into him. Obviously, he's not going to keep both of them. I've got a couple of Soul Stones empty that I'll be able to put them into and then save them for other tunes as well. So right now, I want to probably probably roughly give him 90 strength just for gear, um, I'm thinking, as well. Actually, no, I'll give him... Yeah, I'll give him 90 strength. I'll give him 90 intelligence. Um, what's that? 80. So what's that? 90, 90 is 180. Actually, I may need to get out my handy dandy calculator. And guys, I can't math very well. High school was a very, very long time ago. Um, I love that when I turn my calculator on, you can tell that my daughter has had my phone because she grabs my calculator and it says error on my calculator. <laughs> you can always tell when a two-year-old has uh, been touching your telephone because if the calculator's open, she's just going to mash buttons until it hits error. All right, so we want 90 and 90. Okay, so that's 180. All right, so it's pretty much, okay. All right, cool. So I have 45 to put in decks. I think that's pretty, yeah, I think that's pretty basic. Um, as I said, gear-wise, especially for, um, like, in a sense, you want to be able to equip to everything. Even, like, as a mage, some mage gear has quite strength like requirements, and it can be quite painful, um, especially as a mage to then raise strength. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Actually, to be honest, I think I want to swap that around. I think I want to do that and that. Um, yeah, I think so. I've already got a few mage tunes. So if I decided to make this a... Actually, yeah, that's a, probably a good idea right there, to be honest. Um... 
I think I want to go. Yeah, I think that 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 works for me because I may I may make this an archer. But either way, all right. So um, now that I've had it all added up, um, it's all together. I can then click edit. All right. So now it's telling me it's all set. And then you just want to hit continue, but just double double check and make sure you have everything that you want before you do it, because there ain't no going back. If you fuck this up, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time, obviously, um, and things will turn to shit really quickly with it. You 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 just yeah, it, it's you you click it, you click continue, and then you think, oh fuck, I should have put another skill in. You know, it's yeah, it's it's such a waste. But um yeah, as I said, it's a boost for animal for all you newbie animal tamers as well. It's really cool to grab these three, have them start off at 90. So, all right. So once it does that, it says, please confirm that you wish to set your attributes as indicated in the upper left-hand corner. Um, bang. That's just the yellow writing was before that was yellow. Now it's green. All good. Uh, please confirm that you wish to set five skills selected at the left to 90 skill. That's done too. Are you sure you wish to apply select skills attributes to click the continue button below? So this is definitely telling you that it's okay to go ahead and click continue. It also tells you at the bottom that if you have fucked up, if you wish to abort the application of the missing character token, click the cancel button. So straight away, if you, you know, otherwise just click cancel and just go through it all again if you're unsure. But um, yeah, it's it's really cool. It's 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 definitely a help. It's definitely a huge fucking help. Um. And I, I have used a couple of these in my time. Um, if you are new, I would probably suggest exploring some of your skills and classes first. You know, even if you just muck around with them for an hour or so, and you sort of figure out what you want to do, or if you look up builds, you know, just sort of have a mess around. You know, head out to the the, the old Haven graveyard, smash some zombies around, see what you can do, see what you think, and then do this. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest just starting the game and then cracking one of these open and not really knowing what you're doing. You're probably wasting your money and your time. So so we're gonna click continue and boom it will tell you down here that everything is set to 90. You can see here that um meditation you need to not do that. Um, meditation and focus just take off on their own. It's pretty painful. Alright so right now you can see I'm gonna add these all to my custom tabs and then we'll go through them in a moment. All right, so what do we grab? We grabbed Chiv, and we grabbed Majory. All right, cool. So there's our five skills at 90. Um, I'll go to my character, and then you'll see up here as well too, there's all my five, my three skills at 100. So um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty neat, I think. It's very helpful. But yeah, it doesn't add resistances or anything else. You've got to work on all that yourself pretty much. Um, and no stats in this game affect, like, obviously, your other bonuses until you've actually equipped stuff and then put, obviously, the bonus stat to it. So right now, you can tell I've got 100 strength, but um, right now, I am casually sitting on 1-6 uh, damage. So obviously, when I equip my weapon, it's going to go up to 15-20, uh, and now, now, this will affect the damage there. So with 100 strength, obviously, um, it yeah, represents your physical essence, your hit points, and determines uh, determined by strength. So yeah, you're going to go from there pretty much. It represents your hand-to-hand -hand eye coordination reflexes. Your stamina is determined by your dexterity, and represents your mental capacity. Your mana is determined by your intelligence. Um, yeah. So pretty much, yeah. But either way, cool. And um, so just remember to like, subscribe, don't like, love, hate, whatever the fuck you want. I am just happy that you gave this a view and thanks for watching. I will see you guys all very soon.